Welcome to this new English lesson. This lesson is for the third intermediate, the second semester. The subject is English. For the last six, the lesson is 1E, Can You Live Without It? It's the first part of the lesson, vocabulary, speak, and listen. The lesson was prepared and will be presented by Mrs. Atidal Al-Ghandi. Now, let's see the objectives of today's lesson. In this lesson, you can identify adjective suffixes. Full and less. We are going to know what are suffixes and when do we put the adjectives full and less and what do they mean. Then we are going to use them in other words or in other places. Then we are going to talk about television advantages and disadvantages. Then we are going to listen for jazz. We are going to have an audio and then we are going to have some tasks afterwards. As a warm up, Look at the picture. You have a box full of glass. It's a fragile box. How should it be handled? With a lot of care. Very good. With a lot of care. You should handle it with a lot of care. Yes. In other words, we say you should be careful. Very good. You should be careful. Now, look at this boy. He's sleeping. He's not studying. Look at the papers on the floor. Look at the, the juice in his hand. Okay. So if you don't study regularly, then you are? Yes, you are careless. You're not careful. You are careless. You don't have the amount enough for caring. Yes. So you are careless. Excellent. Very good. Now let's see. For vocabulary. We are going to read the examples below and let's see what's the difference between useful and useless. When I say that this book is very useful, I learned a lot about cooking from it. So what do we say when we say if something is useful? It means you have made a lot of use of it. Yes, it's a very beneficial. Uh, it has a lot of advantages. Yes, very good. Okay, so when we say that my new mobile phone is useless, it's no good, it's very bad, yes. It never works when I need it. So useless, it means it's no good. Useful, it means it's a lot of use, yes. So what is the difference? It is the opposite, yes. Here it means that you have full of the verb itself. And here it means you have the least amount of the verb itself very good so here we say it uses a positive of use in a positive meaning okay and here it's of use in a negative meaning it's no use at all okay okay now a lot of adjectives are formed by adding a suffix full and less to a verb or a noun so usually we have stem which are nouns or verbs. In this case, we have verbs. So we say, form the adjective from the given stems. Okay? So harm, we say with full. So what do we say? Harmful. Very good. Harmful. Very good. If it's with less, what do we say? Harmless. Excellent. So we have a lot of harm in this. And we hear it is safe. So, no harm from harmless means no harm. And when you say harmful, it means it's full of harm. Yes. How about care? Very good. We say careful. Excellent. And here, with less, what do we say? Careless. Excellent. So, here you are full of care, and here you are. Yes, the least amount of care is the, in this adjective. Very good. So, what is a suffix? These are suffixes. Where do we attach a suffix? Yes, it's attached at the end of the word. You see, the suffixes are attached at the end of the words. So, let's 
see. Careful means with. So you have a lot of harm with harm with care and harmless with without care without harming. Yes, very good. So we say suffixes are attached to the end of a word, or actually, to be more precise, it's attached to and to the end of a verb or a noun. Okay. Now we are going to complete with the correct form of the words in capitals. We have the words harm, help, care, beauty, harm once again, and help. We are going to add the suffixes according to the sentence. We are going to read the sentence and see what is the correct suffix that we are going to attach to the word. So, eating junk food. Is eating junk food healthy? No, so eating junk food every day is blank to your house. So what do we say? Very good. It is full of harm. It's unsafe. Very good. It's harmful. Okay, number two. I was in London and I couldn't speak English. So he felt alone. He felt that nobody can help him. So he felt Helpless, yes, helpless. Tony is a very blank driver. He's had many accidents. So, he's not a good driver. He's not a safe driver. So, he, because he had many accidents. So, he is very good. He's careless. The sea looked blank at night. Just imagine the sea at night with stars, glowing stars, and the moon. So the, the scenery itself is a beautiful, very good. So the sea looked beautiful at night. It's full of beauty, yes. Don't be afraid of the cat. It's safe, so it's harmless. Very good, it's harmless. Number six. My brother was very blank. Thanks to him, I finished my project on time. So he gave me the good advices. He gave me the correct kind of help. So he was very helpful. Yes, very good. He was very helpful. Great job. Excellent. Okay. Now, read the statements below. A to E. And then we are going to discuss either do we agree with them or not. Okay, then we are going to say why. Then we are going to give reasons using the phrases in the box. Let's start the statements. A. There are more advantages to television than disadvantages. B. Television is a cheap form of entertainment. C. Some people are influenced by what they see. D. Television keeps people informed. E, children become less active because of television. Okay, so here they have these statements. And then we are going to say there are more advantages to, this, uh, to television than disadvantages. Do you agree? Usually when you say something, you have to tell me why. Why do you agree? And uh, in what reason? You have to state your reasons. So in my opinion... I would say that televisions do have a lot of advantages and they are far more better than this. This is my own opinion. Uh, that is because it has a lot of programs. It has a lot of educational programs. Um, it shows live events. Uh, it, uh, it helps you with the news. It uh, gives you the news uh, close to you. So it has a lot of benefits. It, it deals with the way you use the television and how you use these TVs. Is television uh, a cheap form of entertainment? I quite find it. It's true because um, you don't have to pay to watch a television. You just buy the te television at the beginning and then you just watch. Yes, very good. Well, here some people are influenced by what they see. Uh, maybe especially children. I think so, but not adults. I think maybe. So I'm not very into this sentence, no. Televisions keep, uh, television keeps people informed, yes, from news, from um, 
uh, sometimes some talk shows we have a lot of different talk shows and they keep people informed okay children become less uh, well i agree 100 percent with this because of cartoons they don't want to play they keep on watching sometimes they turn into what they call couch potatoes so all of what i've said is my own opinion you can add your own opinion according to get what reasons you are giving okay so let's see as an example here we are going to see as an example one has preferred television while the other doesn't like television so let's see what did he say he said in my opinion there are more advantages to television than than disadvantages there are many educational programs and you can spend a nice afternoon at home watching a, qual a good quality show okay so he's with the advantages and the other said i disagree i think that many programs are of low quality and people usually waste a lot of time in front of the screen so yes you can disagree you can uh, you can either agree with them okay as long as you state your reasons okay okay now we are going to listen to the audio uh, we are going to listen to four people talking about television and match the names with one of the statement a to e above there is one extra statement which you do not need to use so we have five statements and we have four people speaking listen carefully because they are very close to each other the, the meanings are very close but there is some slight difference each one is speaking about something different but it's very slight so listen carefully one e can you live without it two speak and listen B. Listen to four people talking about television and match the names with one of the statements A to E above. There is one extra statement which you do not need to use. Kathy. I don't understand why people always talk about the disadvantages of television and forget about the advantages. We learn about events that are happening at the moment on the other side of the world. We see live broadcasting, live sports, events and so on. OK, there's also the internet, but not everyone has access, so I don't think we can say that television is useless nowadays. Ma OK, now let's see, what did Kathy say? She spoke about advantages and disadvantages, but she went and she emphasized more about events going on in the second part of the world and uh, live uh, shows. So. She said mainly that television keeps people informed. Yes, very good. So the answer is, Kathy, is television keeps people informed. She didn't say whether the advantages were more than the advantages, but disadvantages, but she said that the main advantage is that people are informed. Very good. Now let's listen to what did Mark say. Mark. Personally, I believe that parents shouldn't allow their kids to watch any TV at all, or at least let them watch very little. Most of the programs are of low quality, and there aren't enough educational ones. Watching TV is a waste of time, and it makes children lazy couch potatoes. They just sit around doing nothing when they should be outside playing a sport or something and communicating with other people their age. John. Okay, what did Mark say? My parents say? say that I watch too much and that I'm addicted. What did Mark say? He spoke about that television is very harmless to children because it makes them less active, they don't go and play, and they do, do not socialize with t children the same age. Yes. So here we say that Mark went with E. Children become less active because of television. So he has his main disadvantage. But I disagree. I choose what I watch. Some of my friends turn on the TV and forget to turn it off. I'm not like that. Also, 
They like watching commercials, which is something I hate. They're all lies and there are too many of them. But they do their job. You won't believe how many products my friends buy because they see them on TV and feel they need them. Carlos. Okay. How about John? He spoke about how his friends are influenced, yes, by commercials and that they are lies. Yes, very good. So he said that some people are influenced by what, by what they see. Very good. He spoke about the commercials and how his friends believe them. Okay. Now, let's see Carlos. What did Carlos say? I'm a father of four children, and I encourage them to go out and play a lot. However, I find TV quite useful sometimes. For instance, it costs our family 80 pounds to have dinner at a restaurant. Now that's too much for us. We just stay in and watch something on TV instead. Not everything shown is suitable for all ages, but there are quite a few game shows or educational programs like documentaries we watch. So, Carlos spoke about his children going playing outside, but he said something else, that he, yes, he pays a lot less while they watch television and see some good programs like documentaries. So, he's saying that television is a cheap form of entertainment because it might cost him a lot when they go out with his children. So... B is the answer. Correct. Very good. Excellent. Great job. Okay. As a sum up, today we learned that a lot of adjectives are formed by adding the suffixes full and less to a verb or a noun. For example, we have the word harmful, careful, useful, and with less we say harmless, careless, and useless. Okay. The reference for today's lesson were Full Blast 6 uh, Students' Books, Full Blast 6 Teacher's Guide, Full Blast 6 Audio, Google Clip Arts for Pictures. Hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Thank you for attending. See you next time. This is Etudal Alhamdulillah.